Hey everyone, it's Ashton. This video is really precious to my heart because of the fact that if you've been following my channel for a few years now, you realize that I've had a really hard time with my mom trying to support my transition. She was under the impression with what a lot of people are under and misunderstanding the fact that why if I tried to present so feminine would I ever want to transition to masculinity? And the reality is that I transitioned to this masculine person and presented very feminine because I was trying to really do whatever I could to do the opposite of how I felt inside and push down all those feelings. So I presented very feminine and it confused my mom. So when I first came out, she really didn't get it. She didn't understand why I would want to be this person, this person that I'm so much happier as. And so she had a really hard time with it. She really had trouble misgendering me and still does have trouble misgendering me, except today something that happened was my mom, when we were at the U-Haul place, the storage unit place, I was trying to help her move some boxes. She introduced me to the person behind the counter. She said, this is my son, Ashton. And she did it twice. She called me her son twice today and <sighs> It's been five years since I've started transitioning my my anniversary of when I started medically transitioning with testosterone is June 4th, 2012, and it's 2017. So this year it'll be five years. And after five years and seeing that, no, I'm not gonna regret it. That was one thing that she really thought is that I was gonna regret this. And she was really scared of that. And growing up for her, she was raised Southern Baptist. She's from Kentucky. And to have a Southern Baptist raised mom and from Kentucky who didn't initially support me, I thought maybe she just might not ever come around. But today she proved me wrong and she's slowly ever more really stepping up to be the mom that I've always really wanted her to be during this process and it took me just continually showing up as myself no matter whether she kept misgendering me or not through all this family interactions it took me giving her some space it took me being proud of this person that I am and kept living this life as the person that I am and she's really come around because she's seen that this is who I am and this is who I'm always gonna be. And it took five years, but I didn't, I made peace with the fact that she might never come around, but I also didn't lose hope that maybe one day she would come around. And for her to just say a few simple words of, this is my son, Ashton, today, to a stranger, to someone that I had never met before, it, it's pretty incredible. Because if you go back, I'll leave the link below, but if you go back and watch my video that I think was from 2014, where it was almost like a 20 minute video or something like that, where I whole, made this whole thing about how my mom doesn't support me and it's been really difficult. And if you've really watched this, it was one of the hardest things was to not have my mom support, where my dad, he did support me as his son from the beginning because I think that he, always sensed masculinity even though I tried really hard to push it down by presenting very feminine. I think he always really sensed the masculinity within me and had always supported me from the beginning as his son even when I before I even started taking testosterone he defended me as his son and I just wanted to give an update and really like a shout out and kind of a just because I'm so proud of the progress that, that my mom's made. In the last year, she is the loving mother um, just that I've always wanted and needed because it took me for a year, like all of the year before last, not speaking to her as much, not really just giving her space. And then so because I made the video a couple years ago back in like 2014 kind of just saying my mom doesn't support me and she's like not a great mom and the way that she doesn't support me 
I wanted to make a new video really just saying that she's come around and it's been pretty incredible to see the progress and just to really just feel so much love and me and my mom had not the best relationship with me growing up because I never was really able to express myself in the way that I needed to but now that she just sees you know I'm about I'm an adult now I'm about to turn 25 next month in two weeks I'm gonna turn 25 she recognizes that I'm old enough now to be able to just be who I am and she sees that you know I'm mature enough and all that and yes that's kind of crappy I think parents should support their kid no matter what age they come out as trans but I've given her enough time she's come around so maybe you're in a situation where your parents don't support you maybe it will take five years like it did for me but don't lose hope maybe do what I did which was come to peace with the fact that they might never come around give them the space that they need and maybe they'll surprise you like my mom did and introduce you as their son or whatever you want to be introduced as one day so just wanted to give that life update because God, my mom has really stepped up in the last year. So, yeah. Anyways, stay awesome. Leave me comments below. Anything you want to hear for the next video topic, I'll leave my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, my email, my Tumblr, all below. And until next time, just stay awesome, stay living your truth, and yesterday was Trans Day of Visibility, so I hope that you are visible and proud in whatever way that looks like for you, and if you can't be, I hope that you know that you are free to be yourself in whatever way you can, and I love you, have a great rest of your day.